So I think we all know that we live in an era driven by remarkable technological innovation, and that's no more, no more true than it is for biology. So computational biology is a research discipline where the use of computational techniques as opposed to wet lab based techniques are used and developed to better understand biology. My main area of expertise is in genomics and here novel sequencing technology allows us to analyze an entire patient genome within a matter of days. We can detangle the, every single gene that's expressed. We can even look at the molecular profile of individual cells. This generates enormous amounts of large, complex data, and the clues about the biology are buried within that data and require extracting um, by computational biologists. So ultimately, computational biology is a blend of statistics, software engineering, computer science, biology, and increasingly clinical medical research, all harnessed to study biology using new sets of tools. PPM2 is trying to achieve better health outcomes for children with cancer through developing better computational tools and databases that we can use to drive and, and deliver um, cancer precision medicine. So the molecular profile of each patient's tumor is unique. We know this quite well. And that by harnessing new technologies like whole genome sequencing, RNA sequencing, methylation profiling, and others, we're developing new methods to better analyze and integrate this data so that we can understand pediatric cancer biology better. We develop methods to distill all of those molecular data into clinically actionable findings. You know, the subset of molecular changes that are really important for a clinician that we believe can be used to better diagnose, better inform treatment, and even better inform the prognostic status of the patient. Are they a high risk or a low risk patient? What's really interesting and really relevant to Luminous Alliance is why some children have a higher, why some families have a higher incidence of pediatric of developing childhood cancer. So what's the genetic risk uh, associated with childhood cancer? So we've developed a new analytical pipeline to analyze an entire cancer genome within 24 hours with very high accuracy and flexibility. PPM2 has developed a database for precision medicine molecular data linked to clinical data so that we can use this to inform precision medicine and so that we can mine it for new research insights. We've developed prioritization algorithms and an online data curation portal that we call GLUI, which lets cancer experts interact with that data and identify the clinically relevant pieces so that we can inform precision medicine uh, recommendations. PPM2 is going to underpin the, the, the analysis for PPM3, the new PREDICT study, which just got launched in the previous hour, uh, which is a New South Wales-wide cancer predisposition study built on genome analysis of patients and their parents with, with genomics. We develop novel gen genomic analysis tools to uncover new drivers of biology, which could then be validated through the PPM1 functional biology program. And PPM2 has been working on genomic data sharing by partnering with the Australian Bioinformatics Commons to share our data both within both nationally and through new international partnerships that we think is critical for, uh, for, for research essentially. Put simply again, Luminous Alliance has really catalyzed the creation of Australia's largest computational biology group solely focused on paediatric cancer. I'm very pleased and proud to say that there's now 13 uh, scientists, engineers and students all working together in a brand new group that was formed at the outset of the Luminous funding. Luminous Alliance has catalyzed the funding of the PPM3 PREDICT study, which PPM2 is going to be driving the analysis for. The long-standing impact that Luminous Alliance has allowed this group to build a lot of infrastructure which underpins precision medicine activities will live long beyond this first phase of the Luminous study as, as completed and it'll allow us to set up the ability to deliver precision medicine at scale throughout the country and through publishing the, the workflows and the software hopefully beyond. Um, so I, I, pretty, I think Luminous has truly really helped catalyze all of those things.